April 19, 2010, Kenyans in the Boston area and elsewhere in the world woke up with optimism over the sure win in the Boston Marathon. Not only did we win, but also broke the course record. Our reporter swims you through the sea of humanity as the side shows to the event unfolded. Texas. With the skyscrapers casting their shadows on us, we started juggling through the cryptic puzzle of blocked and manned streets. Amid many, we spotted one flag that fortunately followed the wind. Beside it, a group of noisy and vibrant spectators seemed unbothered by their neighbors. A closer look revealed the group was actually composed of two countries whose livery in the long race is nothing but a union. As they followed the race from the giant big screen, the stakes were high and so were the bets. Kenya, of course. It was a golden opportunity for the Kenyan men to take shots with the Ethiopian beauties. Finally came the moment. The 20-year-old Robert Chiriot crossed the finish line. The joy overcame the Kenyans' ability to sing the national anthem. Absolutely, I'm proud to be a Kenyan always. I've been in America for almost 20 years and never came to the marathon. I came today and they broke the record. I feel good. Congratulations, very good. You've made us Kenyans proud. Kenya. And I will continue cheering for you guys. Go Kenya! Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> On our way through unwinding path to catch our heroes, one man motivated us. Uh, 51. Very young, we came from Italy, and uh, he runs here in Boston his 45th marathon in his life. We got there just in time for the award ceremony. In the master's category, 40-year-old James Cosgay. <laughs> Women's category, third position, came Selena Cosgay. Finally came the climax of the day, when the overall winner took the podium to receive his honors. One day, one time, I want to win Boston, and they asked me today. So, uh, uh, A quick interview revealed that they were done with 2010 and venturing on to the future. So far, the first, uh, second half, Rikuwa Kale Sana. Wakati Wimbo wa Taifa, Wimbo, Turifraia Kama wa Kenya, Wasababu. Even Kenyans, they stay in USA, he's so happy. Like now, we are, I'm with Kenyans. Maybe next year, I come again and try my best to defend my title. Heck, one or the other way too. Tojivunia kuwa wa Kenya duniani kote.